Okay, a bit of an impromptu tutorial right now. Um, just this isn't K-pop. It's um, lo-fi. It's by a guy called Keshi. It's called Skeletons, as the title says. Um, this song is really cool. Let's get on with it. So you're gonna need one of these, unfortunately, unless you wanna remove this and play it in a lower key. Um, this is a capo. You put it over the strings to basically do the same as essentially what you do in barring, but this time so, so long as everything rings out and you've got it placed on properly you can you can play a C shape up here and a D shape up here um, just basically shifts all the strings up so how do we play this song? Um, right, let's get into it um, first you're gonna Go to this, uh, hmm, what, play, what, what, what position is that? It's a major 7 on the, on the G. G major 7. So, and then this very different chord. So we've got our thumb on the, oh god. You see, I'm all I'm all out of whack now that the the capo's on the on the sixth, thumb on the sixth fret of the E string, uh, ring finger on the seventh fret of the A, index on the fifth fret of the D, and a, a middle finger on the sixth fret of the G string. And you just do, play those in sequence: one, two, three, four. And then we go, it's significantly easier, just uh, the 7th on the E, the 7th on the D, and the 6th on the G. And then you're going to hammer on. And then you're going to do that E cluster shape um, from the 7th fret, 776, seven, uh, A, D, G. And then we go back to that G major 7. So it's tricky. There's a little bridge sort of section um, that goes basically you just let the chords ring out. And then when you you do that a number of times and then when you get to this chord here. So right, we'll, we'll go go through that again. So we've got this uh, basically seven on the E, seven on the G, D, seven on the G, and then we go down to six, six on all those strings. I'm using my thumb, my middle, and my ring, and then we go uh, major, no minor seven, but without this uh, extra note on the A string. It's just sort of like that, but I just do it. Um, so basically, five on the E, and then five, five, five from the D string. So that's an A minor seven, and then back to this home G major seven, and then a G minor seven. But I just I bar with my finger here and use my thumb over the top. So this is quite a tricky song. And then we go back to these chords again. And then eventually we go back to the, the normal pattern, which is... Back and play. You 
can also this this chord here is the same as well I think it sounds it's thicker so I use these thicker strings that's basically it um, I hope you can follow that I've tried to be as clear as I can this is a tricky one you're gonna need extra equipment unless you want to play it down a couple of uh, well it would sound like this So, let me try that again. Gosh, it's so diff it's so tricky. So that's the song. Um, it's a great song. Um, good luck. <laughs>